what happens is when you start to realize you have this or you get a proper diagnosis or your child gets a diagnosis or your best friend says, you know what I found out about me and I think you should look into it, you will face a lot of prejudice. It's not as bad as it used to be, um, I have to say, but it's still out there. And people will say it's a load of nonsense and they'll offer all kinds of facts that prove that it can't possibly be you. It was made up by big, it's all just made up by big pharma companies. Uh, you know, it's just lazy parents or liberal parents or, or bad parents, liberal apparently meaning bad. Um, there's no such thing as ADHD when I, oh, this is a great one. There's no such thing as ADHD when I was her age, right? And there was no such thing as PTSD. Does that mean everybody in the First World War and the Second World War was fine? No, they didn't have a name for it. So let's talk about strategies. How do you respond? How do I respond? Number one is fight back. You can refute, rebut, demolish their statement with facts. I could have almost said the exact same thing, but are you kidding? Do you know any parents who would rather give their kid a psychotropic medication, one that's surrounded with controversy, which is needless, by the way? I can... Um, and then, you know, give the history of the disorder. German doctors were describing this back in the 1800s. And, or I could get into famous folks that have ADHD um, and so on and so on. The effectiveness I've found of this strategy is about one in 10. Uh, it just, nobody wants to be attacked. Nobody wants to be made fun of. Some people may need it, not often, but more often than not, when I've responded this way, it was actually somebody just asking because they're concerned because they have kids because their uh, nephew or niece went to a terrible doctor and, and didn't do well on medication or their brother did, or whatever has happened. So fighting back, not good. Number two, play dumb. So this one I like when somebody, and this is, this I would use in front of if someone's being really obnoxious. So you're at a party and someone, yeah, you know that ADHD, it's way over diagnosed. And what I would say is, really? By how much? How much is it over diagnosed? Like what percentage of kids are diagnosed and what is the actual figure that it should be? Well, I don't know, but it's a, and it's been interesting because when someone throws that thing out there, you can see people nodding and agreeing. And then when you just ask them for the specifics, so what are the numbers on that? Sounds like you've done a lot of research. Are you, in fact, a medical researcher? I don't say that, but there's there's a nasty, there can be a nasty tone underneath. But it's just simply, it's way overdiagnosed, really, by how much? And don't, and just wait. And it helps to know a few facts and say, because among kids, it's about, Seven percent, five to seven percent, say five percent, one in 20 kids. And among adults, it's maybe four percent conservatively. What percentage are diagnosed? Do you know? So that that can work uh, if someone's being deliberate, deliberately confrontational. I just like to leave them. It's like the wily e. coyote going off the edge of the cliff. And <laughs> oh, uh, and shh. It just it pops the bubble. That one, I would give a four out of 10. You have to use it sparingly, uh, but playing dumb can be good. Seeking a bit of clarification is a, a similar but better. So oh, I don't believe in ADHD. I don't think it's real. I think it's just a made up thing. It's just lazy parents and the pharma companies are all getting in there and every but kid today and there's nothing. They're not letting kids be kids and they give them these intro. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what about DRD 4.7? Blah, 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 what? DRD 4.7. What's that? Well, that was the first gene that was identified as being a suspect for ADHD. The D stands for dopamine, which is the neurotransmitter that is the main culprit in ADHD, low levels of dopamine. So what about DRD 4.7? which was back in 1989, I think it was, yet uh, uh, the University of California, Irvine, was where that was first. Did. Now, I wrote this in one of my blogs, the strategy, recommending it. And two days, three days later, a woman said, OMG, was that a bar? 
And some guy said, I don't believe in ADHD because somebody mentioned that she had ADHD. And I said, what about DRD 4.7? And he said, what's that? And I explained, and he said, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. When was the last time you heard anybody in this world we're living in right now say, I stand corrected? Not just, yeah, okay, fine. I'll self-isolate, but I stand corrected. So this one, I like the strategy. I'm giving it a seven out of 10 uh, for that. So just asking, and it requires you to know DRD 4.7, uh, which is I've managed to memorize, as you can tell. All right, conceding a point that may be true. This is a great way to start. Uh, it's just these, uh, you know, it's just lazy teachers. Yeah, you know, I had a couple of teachers that were just, uh, but I had like three or four who were amazing. And actually, the teacher that my daughter has, she is fun. And you, but you start with, oh, yeah, there is. Or, yeah, some college kids are faking ADHD to try and get the medication, which is unfortunate because the people who need it, I don't know if you knew this, but the people who need it, the kids who really benefit from this, where it levels the playing field and it gives them a fighting chance, those kids now really struggle to get medication. They run out, they can't get a renewal. The universities are so strict, some of them, it's just brutal. And it's because of these kids who don't have it, who are faking it to get the drugs, which is a, a shame because the kids who do it, and I could go on and I sometimes do, uh, as you can tell. That one's an eight out of 10, starting with just a conceding is great. I'm going to take it a step further, though, and this is my best strategy, I think, uh, for, if you're going to rebut anything. It's the been there, done that. So uh, I think it's just uh, lazy kids. I think it's just sugar in the diet. That's exactly what I thought, man. I thought it's just it's our food. The diet is so bad. And yet what happens is you have four kids, two have ADHD, two don't in the same house, same family. They're eating the same diet. It's not sugar, apparently, da, 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 da. But that's exactly, if you can catch that phrase, when someone says something that is wrong or ignorant or half true, you could just, with, you know what? It's exactly what I thought. And they are so validated. And you're agreeing with them. And then, and you don't have to put it this way, but... I found out some damn facts. You sit, you know, you come back with it. And then I found out, believe it or not, it's actually a neurotransmitter level, whatever you want to get into. Well, then I just found out it's actually brain chemistry and the images of the brains, they're actually wired differently and working differently. And just that may be enough. Um, and that brings me to the final point. So love that one, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what Susan and I thought. You know what? That's what we all think. I think that's what everybody's been told, blah, blah, blah. Here's the, that one's nine out of 10. That almost always works. Um, or at least uh, it's hard for people to come back because you've just agreed with them. 